Though construction is now well underway, we are marking an early significant milestone, the permanent installation of the inaugural pile grouping. In a moment, with a push of a button, Senator Hirono and Admiral Paparo will begin the sequence of operations for the construction crew to drive the pile. Senator, Admiral, would you please do the honors? The steel pipe pile segment being driven is 85 inches, just over 7 feet, in diameter, with a wall thickness of 1.4 inches and a length of 75 feet. It is being driven by a vibratory hammer with a force of 554 tons. To reach the design tip elevation of 190 feet below mean sea level over approximately the next two days, the segment staged adjacent to the seating area will be welded to the one being driven and then brought to final bearing capacity with a hydraulic impact hammer. 146 85-inch piles like these are being sent from the mainland to be received and staged at YPO Peninsula and then driven through a steel template like the one you see here at the waterline, along with the same number of steel sheet pile pairs to form a shoring wall that will frame a, the permanent concrete dry dock floor and walls. A section of this shoring wall is on display behind the seating area. This technical approach reduces the total number of required piles and impact duration by 9 to 12 months and meets the mission need date of January 2028. Ladies and gentlemen, the anchor pile for dry dock 5. Thank you again, Senator Hirono and Admiral Paparo. Thank <laughs> you.